So we continue with lesson 21, and now we have the adds uh, functionality. We can add items to our database, but we can delete, we can edit. So we are now going to work on edit. That will allow us to add an edit button, and then when we click on edit, it displays a modal form with all the with the particular record we selected, and then we modify and save. Before we do that, we, are, we first are going to write an update query, an update method in the controller and in the service. So let's head to the service, uh, the student service here, and let's write an update method in the service. So uh, uh, just like we've been writing before, we write uh, this time updates, and update is going to take uh, the, the student, a student record. All right, so and it's going to say student repository dot repository dot save. So it uses the same uh, the same method as this the, the add new, right? So the save method of the repository is used both for uh, for add new and also for save. All right, so. Um, let's now go to the, the student controller and then write uh, for the uh, for the for the for the update. All right. So now I'm going to say as request mapping is going to be to the endpoint slash update. Okay. So the name of the function is going to be. Update, let's call it update just like before. So it's going to take student, student, okay. Um, oh, what's happening here? So it's going to say students, just like just like the add new. So this is going to say student service uh, dot updates and specify the students. Uh -huh. So uh, finally, just return the same the same redirect to the get call. So we are redirecting to the same page. So I'm going to just copy this and paste. All right. So this is what we have right now. Now the request mapping is going to be slash update, but the method is going to be two methods. We have posts and we have posts. We have posts and we have get. The first time is going to do a get. And use the ID of the uh, student record to retrieve the ID of that record, and then use a, a put to now modify this record. So in case I'm mistaken, so I have method is equal to. So let me just copy this and paste. So this is how to specify the request uh, methods in this case. All right. So. Now we've set up the request met, uh, the methods in the service and in the controller. Um, so the final update method for the controller is like this. So hopefully everything is fine. Mm -hmm. All right. So we are going to now move to the next one. Let's now set up the edit model in the HTML page. I'm going to stop here. I remind you to subscribe and also like my video. And I also want to encourage you to continue learning because if you've come this far, you are really doing great. So we'll see you in the next class.